Hi guys, so I'm back today with a, another video. So this is for a swap that I hosted over on Creating the Crafty Life. And this was a summer themed or beach themed mini page swap. And so there were a couple of requirements. One, obviously it had to be beach themed or summer themed. And the second is it needed to be the Recollections three pound sack. And I'll try and remember to link all that down below. So uh, Maggie, Susan, and Deb all joined us or joined me for this uh, swap and I've done a video on my page so you guys can uh, check that down below. I'll link it down below. But here are the different uh, pages. Uh, I haven't opened them so we're going to open them all together. This one is my page and um, so all of these like the flowers come off, this little uh, chipboard uh, piece comes off, the um, the wood embellishment comes off, the seashell and also the ship um, can all come off and be used in the mini to decorate, um, the cover or other pages, things like that. So I just created this simple little box for mine, some seam binding to hold it shut. And then this is my page. Now this one has a little bit of a different, um, paper pattern to it. Uh, just, but it's all the same layout. So this I've, uh, created this little pocket with a tag in it right there. A little seam binding. Oops. A little, a little string is going to unravel all of my seam binding. Let me give that a quick little trim. So this little tag goes inside there. There's a little bit of the lace. There's some lace trim here. Some mini shells. Some open roses. A couple chipboard pieces. This tag there and then slide in just like that on the back side this is probably one of my favorite and this uh, is just a pocket two more little tags and this is a die cut from a die set that I have I got at Michael's and it's it was just a sea themed one little mini champagne bottle because I was thinking message in a bottle uh, there's the anchor that I embossed with some uh, gold embossing powder. A little seahorse that I did with uh, clear embossing powder. The oxide distress ink in cracked pistachio and some gold embossing powder. Put some of the... I Oh my gosh, it's just late. And my brain is uh, freezing up on me. Uh, I put some netting and then some flowers and some seashells there on that. So to open it up, <clears throat> excuse me, untie the seam binding. Now I did try and do magnets but it didn't work. So you open it up and here is the inside right here. These are a couple of little wood pieces from the collection itself. Uh, then there's two little photo mats and you open it up just like this and you, these aren't glued down all the way so a photo can go behind each of those and they just lift up so you can tuck in behind each of those. This is a Gina Marie die that I had and I just put a cut it and then added a little hinge to the edge, black cardstock on the back. And there's no magnets in these, they, they stay pretty flat because of the weight of the little wood pieces along with the little mini sweetheart blooms. And then on this other side is a Tim Holtz frame, and a photo can be slipped behind this frame. And I created this frame using uh, some Distress inks, Oxide inks, and things like that. A couple more little wood pieces from the uh, Ephemera, the wood collection. A uh, few more little sweetheart blossoms. And then these, I thought, looked kind of like coral, but they are from a Spellbinders die. And I know I'm not going to be able to pull it out easily because I might have, I think I already put it away. But it is a, yeah, I'm going to knock stuff over if I look for it. It's a Spellbinders die. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like a foliage die. And I just cut out the little pieces of that. And then behind that are just two little pieces of the 
paper collection ephemera and I just inked it. Um, everything is actually inked with aged mahogany and I just thought it played really well with the reds and, and it brought out that. So in the, it brought out that, it brought out the reds in the paper. So that's my page. Now moving on, let's go ahead and go to this next page. And this next page is actually Maggie. And I will post, and Maggie is Happy Scrap and Grow here on YouTube. And I'm going to just carefully take this because she's just done a topper. I can always try to use the paper. And, oh my goodness, she sent me a die in this little package. Okay. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. So Maggie's page is right there. And she sent me this cute stamp. And this is from, I want to say... Uh, Hobby Lobby and it's a cute little breakfast one. It says always oh, uh, brunch is always a good idea a donut a little croissant some champagne Fork and spoon crossed pancakes bacon. Let's do brunch and brunch friends forever I love this. This is so fun uh, Because I really do love brunch. So that's so cute Thank you, Maggie and then she sent me this awesome die. It's three dies uh, lumberjack days branch out and then there's some ideas on the back. How fun are these? These are awesome. I'm always looking for foliage dyes. Thank you, Maggie. That was so sweet of you. So this is Maggie. Um, her package is she wrapped some white seam binding. And then each of the packages has our name on it. And I think she printed this. But this is some cute font. And it says summer page, uh, summer paper bag mini page swap and it's the June 2017 and I hosted it and it's just wrapped up in some really pretty summer themed or not summer themed but summer colored tissue paper oh, I thought I was going to get away with not ripping it but it's going to get ripped a little bit Taste it up real good and here is Maggie's page. So when you open it up, it is, she's got a really pretty yellow bow. She's got some of the ephemera, or not the ephemera, but the um, the cutouts from the paper collection uh, on some black cardstock. She's got this really cute little pocket right here. And this adorable little seagull stamp, if you guys can see that. Look at how cute that seagull is that she's colored. Uh, and then she's stamped in gold some of the little fishes. And this is a really cute die that is stitched. And she's outlined everything in gold. So cute. A little seagull uh, in black cardstock. And she's actually inked it in a blue, and then she's outlined the edges in gold. So she did a lot of detail work on this. Uh, she used, I believe this is a Martha Stewart doily edge punch, and she has put some iridescent gems, and it looks like there's pink iridescent and blue iridescent alternating. Then, uh oh Okay. And then you open it up, and here, the... It's, this is a Tim Holtz die, and it says Destination. And then she's got this really cool seahorse with uh, some texture on it, and she's created the eye. And it's just, it's if you guys can see that sparkle, the copper and the iridescence right there, that's so cool on that really pretty paper. Uh, and then she actually put some netting down, and then this is a uh, seashell, or seashell, um, starfish and it's a dye but she's also added texture to it it feels like sand so it's I think it's some embossing powder uh, and then it's just sparkly again and then she's added some really pretty shells there and then on cardstock she has backed a few more of the different uh, cutouts from the collection she's also added this really cute oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> lighthouse die cut and it's silver sparkle and then she's added uh, she's painted in here with the yellow and then this really cute porthole with um, 
pearls around the edges. It looks like she used some of the Perfect Pearls and then this adorable little turtle that she has uh, cut, fussy cut, colored and fussy cut. And then she did some extra detail like you're looking out into the ocean and she stamped some really pretty leaves right there, or the seaweed in gold. And then she's added, you can kind of see there's uh, the water texture. So I believe she used her Tim Holtz inks on that. And then this paper is a wood grain pattern and it even feels like wood grain. It's so pretty. I love this. This is adorable. Gosh, love that. And then on the back side is the back of the pocket and she's added a ton more of inserts from the collection, backed them all on the black cardstock. And then here she added a die cut palm tree, another, this is like um, a rolling hill die just like on the front, but it's a different shape and it's the stitch edge. And then she's added this little sign, it says camping, fishing and swimming that she's labeled there. So, so super cute. It's adorable and then she's got her insert in the top right there with just some pattern paper on it so sweet okay all right I'm gonna set that off to the side now this is Deb and um, Deb is crafty Texas woman oh my gosh I'm so sorry Deb if you're watching this I am I normally am better with YouTube channels, um, but Deb's is just a cello bag with this really cute topper up at the top, and she put the opening down at the bottom. So there's that one, and this is Deb's page. So on the front flap, uh, she has added a die a, a cutout, of the I'm sorry, the chipboard cardstock pieces, and I actually used I think the same one on mine. Did I? I want to say I did. Yes, I did. Um, she's actually, actually, this is, um, yeah, it's the car cardstock. And then she's added some uh, pearls. She added another chipboard piece right here. Some really pretty flowers. And then she's got some really dimensional shells here and here. And then she's got some wheat sprays right there. And this comes up, it's magnetized. And it comes up and it's the belly band to hold her adorable waterfall. How stinking pretty and cute is that? I just love it. So cute. Love that idea for the waterfall. I'm gonna have to steal that because I always make mine come up from the bottom and then I have to put it together, but this hangs down and it just weights it down. So that is such a good idea. Then you open it up and she's added a pocket on the inside of her flap and on the inside she has backed on some cardstock, more cutouts from the paper collection. And then she's, um, this is actually part of the paper and it just, it worked perfectly right there so that it almost looks like an embellishment but it's actually just part of the paper. On this side right here she's added a little starfish and this she's put on dimensionals. This is. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, this is one of the chipboard pieces as well. Uh, on this page, she's made this little booklet, a little doily right here. And this, it is. It's like a canvas doily. It's so cool. Uh, another little uh, chipboard piece and then a couple flat flowers and then some more pearls. And then she's added this little tab right here. And it's magnetized and it opens up this booklet. So lots of room for photos. And then this is just a black doily inside. She's actually got two pullouts. Uh, one flips over the front and one flips over the back. So she's got this pullout right here. And she's done this really fun, cute, decorative border. So that's there. And then I'll show you the other one when I flip it over. So you flip it over to the back side and this is the pocket page of the, the paper bag. It's the, the flap of the paper bag. And again, she showcased the paper really, really well. There's a couple, there's a flat flower and then there's a more dimensional uh, rose right there. And then again, she's got another pull out with that really cute border punch. 
and I love how it hangs over the front of it uh, and the front and the back of it so that if things are here it kind of protects them and then she's got this other really cute pull out right there so there is Deb's it's so pretty love that so I meant to say um, we all use the Prima French Riviera paper. And then Susan's, pa uh, this is Susan's. And this was the one she sent. And she sent this adorable little sticker set um, to decorate with these little uh, sandal wedges. This really cute vintage type bathing suit. And I love it because look, it has pockets. I'm just dying. If I had a swimsuit that had pockets, I would just die. Some sunglasses. And what's really cool is they're actually tinted. You can actually see through. Sorry about the glare. You can actually see through them. And then this awesome hat. This awesome sun hat. I just love it. And she's actually repackaged these. And um, so cute. I love it. Okay. Um, so she... Made, she labeled them, so that was my name, and it was handmade by Susan, and she didn't put a YouTube channel or anything like that, so I will do some searching to see if Susan does have a YouTube or a blog or something I can link you guys to. And then on this page, oh, she also has added some silver gems. Who cannot use silver rhinestones on stuff? I know I go through a ton of bling. So here is Susan's page. So on this first page, she's got a dimensional sticker that says vacation. And it looks like she stamped and colored it and then popped it up and she fussy cut a shadow around it. She's got this pocket right here and it says at the beach, a couple more dimensional stickers. These are really cool. These green flourishes and I'm looking at them and I'm not sure if they're stickers or if she has a punch or something but it's really cool um I love that look they are um on green's cardstock but then they've got the green glitter on them and then this is a pocket and she's put actually is it just a oh no it's a booklet I'm sorry so she's created this little booklet and she has these pretty uh, uh, corner punches so you can you know stick stuff in there and then she's got this little booklet and then she's added um, some blue cardstock to match the outside and then she's got the rhinestones and the pearls in the corner that's so cute and this paper right here oh my gosh this textured kind of sand it's almost like a I don't know like bubbles or something like that it kind of looks like gold pebbles sand I don't know it's really pretty and really sparkly so she's done a lot of sparkles on this and then she's done really pretty borders along each side to mimic the corners and um, it's just really well thought out and put together so here is the next one on the inside on the inside it's a fold out and she's put this flat flower and this beautiful st uh, gemstone in the center and it's some gold shimmer in, I think they're called dahlias or I, I'm so bad at names sometimes uh, and you open it up on the inside so it flips up she's got this cute sticker that says relax and then this photo mat flips down and it says sun and so uh, you can I think it's popped up just enough you can slide stuff in the top and you can journal so lots of room for pictures on this page the next side is actually a little shaker I don't you guys can kind of see it. She did such a cute job. It's a little shell that she's done out of the same. Uh, where is that paper? I just, I thought I just saw it. Uh, I'm losing my mind. Uh, just some, some uh, glitter, not glitter paper. Oh my gosh, foil paper. And she has also added... And so on the inside are some gold stars, some blue glitter, some beads, and uh, some some discs. And it's so cute. And anyone who knows me lo knows that I love a shaker. And I was going to do a shaker on my page, and I, I didn't. I had to stop myself because I've done so many shakers. But she put made this into a belly band, and she used some gold ribbon there. And then her pullout, she's again mimicked the corner punches. And she says beach, and then sand and surf on this pretty gold or on this pretty photo mat and then she's added pearls to each side and then in the background it's this really beautiful foil paper with shells in the background and then it's got script I'm not sure what it 
says, but it probably says something beach themed. That is such a cute idea though, uh, adding, making it into a belly band. I love that idea. Okay, and then flipping over to the back side, she's used the pocket, she's added some more of the words with the glitter, she's added some pearls there, and then another corner with a, another photo mat. And that's really pretty distressed paper. And then she's added some dimensional uh, embellishment sticker type things, a couple of little beach balls, an umbrella, and then the waves uh, playing in the waves. And it's this part is embossed, and then it's all raised and glittery and just beautiful. And then she also has here, she's got her little thing, and she's added some stickers, fun in the sun on one side, and then hot with another umbrella right there. So, excuse me, I'm not going to open up all of the other packages to know if they're identical, but these are the pages that I got, and I believe that most of the ladies did, uh, oops, I put that on, on the wrong side, uh, very similar layouts for them. So there is one more page uh, but I'm not going to be able to show it right this second, so as soon as I get the page, I will go ahead and film it and add it on to the end because I totally forgot because <laughs> I didn't have the page when I was introducing the video. Um, Nika, uh, who is Simply Shimmery Scraps, also joined this, um, but I don't have her pages just yet. Wanted to get this film, so as soon as I get those, I can package, I can put hers in the package and send them all out. So there they are. Uh, so Susan's, Deb's, Maggie's, and mine. And then Nika's will be in there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a super long video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm back. Uh, this is just a continuation of uh, the video as far as the different pages. So I didn't um, have Nika's page at the time, so I'm here uh, just uh, filming hers, which I'm gonna add to the end of the video. So uh, this is Nika's page, and uh, she just created a box with some really cute acetate on the front and then some pattern paper. And this box is super shimmery, it's like a dark blue with um, just some shimmer and it's so pretty and it's tied with a really dark blue I think that's dark blue no maybe black uh, ribbon and it's just a really simple satin ribbon so it's very pretty so we'll go ahead and untie leave that off to the side because we can definitely reuse that and then inside is her page and this is oh my gosh just what I'm seeing it is super super gorgeous so on the front, she has put a big picture frame and she has added some beautiful, uh, what are those? They're like, just like, not seed beads, but um, I have some, but I can't think of what they are. They're just beads and then some of the blue rhinestones around the, the edges. And she's added this really fun ribbon with the white stitching on the outside and then a little, um, I think it's called a conch shell uh, or just a shell, a gold shell uh, on top and then you can put a photo right there. In the top right here is um, a little charm and it's a pull for a pull out. So that pulls out for a photo. And then this opens up and there's a belly band here and then this is one of the tags from the paper collection and she used the same Prima collection and then this ribbon you can tuck under. Oh my gosh, this is so interactive you guys. And then this opens up and she's added little anchors and some more of those uh, gems there and she's added two of the little 3x4 ephemeras. Oh my gosh, Nika, this is beautiful and crazy. Um, so then she has added the, she's made a waterfall, and she's used some washi and a decorative border on those. There we go. And she's put the decorative border on every other one. It's so pretty, you guys. This is just beautiful. And then this, it looks like, yep, there's a pullout right there. So she's added a little pullout right under there for journaling and or um, 
my goodness. Um, I didn't have it in straight. Uh, journaling or photos, whichever you would like to do. So pretty. Okay, so that folds in first. Oh, wait, no. This folds in first, this folds in. And then her page opens that, that way. So am I missing... Oh, okay, so that goes like that, and then you turn it over, and she has this beautiful seahorse right here, and it's a little tuck spot you can tuck underneath. It's all magnetized, a little anchor down at the bottom. You open it up, and these are tags as well. So there's tags that go in here and here. It's going to be the thickest mini album in the entire world. Oh my gosh. There we go. That goes in there. And then this is a little belly band that you can um, slide things under. And she's put these cute little turtle uh, uh, turtles on there. And so cute. And then she's layered her border so it's got the black and the gold. And then in Nika fashion. <laughs> this goes up like this. Oh, yeah. It goes up like this. And then this is a little tuck spot right there. And then you can also put a picture here. Okay. And then here she has added little envelopes and there's uh, little things. Um, she put little pre-cut squares in there for pictures or journaling, and you just tuck it behind those little shells. And then on this side is another photo mat with more tuck spots right there. Okay, so that goes up, and then it, it opens like this. And then here is a little piece from the paper collection. She's added a little pocket right there. And then this, it says, you, me, and the sea, and you can tuck something under there. And then this octopus right there is so cool. And then she's used some different papers, too, because this is like a wood grain with gold and things like that. It's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. This thing is just amazing. Okay. So it flips down like that. And then in and in like that. So this is Nika's page and so that completes all the pages so hopefully the next video you guys will see will be the final album all bound together. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.